you know, sometimes it's a number of little things that will create an accident. We're very clear to the, to the, the fact that, you know, we need to, uh, to mitigate the risk. We need to provide the training. We need to provide the tool to do the job safely. The things that, that keep me awake are the, the number of events where we had uh, controls in place and we bypassed those numerous controls. I look at that as an organizational failure and those are the ones that scare me. Because we are a new company, there's still some gaps we have and we've got to work together with everybody, uh, the people on the floor uh, and the supervisors and all the way up to the managers to close those gaps and make sure our systems are such that, uh, that people don't get hurt. In some cases, I, I do think there's some training issues. You know, maybe there's some hazard awareness training that needs to be it needs to be provided to people. But until we get to the point where people can have responsible conversations with each other about safety and, and hold each other to account, you know, we're really not going to make the improvement that we need. For safety to be effective, it has to be part of your, your inner fabric the, of who and what you are because you have to be living it and breathing it all the time. You can never let your guard down. Uh, you can never rely on luck. You have to apply the principles that you've been taught. been in mining for 20 years um, so I've seen circumstances where it where we've had unacceptable safety outcomes I've had to tell an individual that his father wasn't coming home ever again and uh, and every time I say that I still even, even after we talk you know I just spoke two days ago about it and I still get that shiver up the back of my spine of, uh, of what it means to me that's an event that it certainly changed me but that's part of it it's just it's a uh, the accident itself is um, gives me further evidence of, uh, of why it hurts, but it comes down to it's, uh, it is the right thing to do. Safety is, is just the right thing to do. He went down in camp and, and we couldn't revive him. So uh, he had a heart condition, overexertion. Uh, so I had to go and tell his wife that he had died. Uh, I also had to go and take her to visit his, his body. Uh, which is quite honestly the most heart-wrenching thing I've ever seen in my life. I, I remember w watching through the window as she held his hand for the last time and, you know, took his wedding ring off, kissed him for the last time. I, the tears, just the anguish on her face. Uh, to be honest, I was in tears as well. I just, just watching it was, it, it just tore me apart. When I look back, I remember a case where I was I, I had to actually uh, uh, dynamite inside a, inside a feeder and I did that in such a way that today would be totally unacceptable with our own standards. I was extremely lucky that this, this load didn't collapse on me while I was putting the charge. This has transformed me uh, as an individual as well. I certainly have a very close to home safety uh, uh, event in, in, in my life, my wife's life. She was at a mine visit and was involved in an accident and it related to unsafe travel practices that contributed to it. As a result of that incident, several people were killed. Uh, luckily for, for us, uh, my wife was not, but she was injured quite seriously and burnt. Uh, it, it resulted in two years of her life uh, to recover from it. Nobody wants to receive that phone call and certainly nobody wants to be making that phone call to inform a family of an incident. There's one thing I never want to do and it's to take the very bad call because I know it's going to be followed by one that I will need to do with potentially a, a family and, and this is something I never want to have to do. So the responsibility of safety is very simple. It's everyone. It's the employees, it's at the operational level, at the supervisory level, at the management level, it's at the senior level, it's at the corporation level. It's all of us. We're all in this together. Our employees need to realize that they're in an environment where, uh, you know, they're, they need to take ownership of their own safety as well. When you ask a group of people, you know, how many people work in safety here at this mine? And, you know, often people will say, oh, there's seven people in safety here. The real answer has to be whatever the total number of employees is. If it's 700, everybody works in safety. It's everybody's responsibility. You know, not only for themselves, but for their coworkers as well.
we need to show our workforce that we believe in it enough that if need be, we'll simply shut down the operation. There's nothing that, that I want done um, that, uh, that needs to be done unsafely or at, at the urgency that, that you're going to get hurt. If you think you're not properly trained or the environment in which you're working is not adequate for you to do a safe job, you think that the mitigation measures in place are not enough, please stop. Just don't do it. And, and we'll have a chat on how we can do it better. At Detour Gold, we have to improve our safety performance. And to do that, I need the commitment of each and every one of you. Everybody at site needs to be comfortable to say, I don't know how to do this job, or I believe it's unsafe. And what I want to compare ourselves to is the best operation in the world. You know, we're not where we want to be right now, but, uh, but we need to drive towards that. We need to be relentless about getting there. I think people have to take, take that five minutes at the beginning of a job. Really, you know, rather than just tick and flick their task card to, to review the job, really think about what they're walking into, what the potential dangers are, and look for the hazards. I, I think that would go a long way based on a lot of the incident reviews that I've done here. So it's very important that we put these system in place and that people live through them, learn them, and operate with them. I firmly believe that, you know, with training, with habits, we can get there. Here's what I'm asking of each and every one of you. To embrace safety, to promote safety at home and in the workplace, and to become safety champions. I believe everybody wants to work safely, and I believe we've got the right group of people um, to make this place uh, hugely successful and, and part of that success is is not getting hurt. If you ask a group full of people, you know, do you think we can get to zero medical aids, lost time inter injuries? They say no, absolutely not. But if you take that same group of people and you ask them one by one, do you think you can work the next year without injuring yourself? They all say yes. We have a tremendous future. We have a, a fantastic mind. We have opportunities to grow it, but to be successful at all of those, we have to first be successful at safety.